Okay, show up. So what I'm going to do is go to my business page and then share this into the group. That way you're actually watching on um, on the business page, but you get a link access to it. Anyways, I think I just have to go adjust some settings for next time. Uh, but for now, that's what we'll do so we don't have to um, wait any longer. So Angie, I have you. You said, yes, yes, I do. So Angie, I'm going to put your name in the in the bag okay is there anyone else who wanted to get in on the raffle who didn't get your answer in before okay so we're going to get started if you're here last time your name's there if you were here again today your name is in there again so from last time i told you i was going to just pick up where we left off we're going to pull pull our first name after our first name was going to get pulled after the first five sales because when we left off, we had half of what we needed in order to pull a name. So after five claims, we will pull the first name and then we'll start over and it'll be for every 10. Okay, so you see at the bottom of the screen, that's a name of the item as well as, well as the number of the items. So I have all the items numbered in my inventory. And then also there's a quantity afterwards. So the first item is number 0066. Its, its name is Playfully Prairie Black, and I have two of them, okay? So you kind of catch on how that works. Playfully Prairie Black, and I have two of them. So if you're interested in purchasing this item I'm going to show you, you can just comment with the number. And then the first two people who claim them, I will put those on your invoice. So they are these earrings here. So they are silver at the top with this really cute kind of flower um, part attached to the post. They're going to hang like that. And then they've got these black stones. Okay. So if you want those, they're $5 plus tax. You would simply comment 0066. Okay. And then that would make them yours. Forgot to mention, I do have the winners for last week. Um, I went to post it and then my iPad ran out of juice. Um, for the twenty dollars in free jewelry, that was for Barbara Sexton, and then the free shipping on an order of twenty five dollars or more was Christine Chellis. So I put those um, <clears throat> up in the group. Okay, so that was the first item. So hopefully we kind of get an idea of how it's going to go. Oh my gosh, this next item! I love it. I love, love, love it. Um, Teresa has this one and I think Susan might have it in gold or it was released initially in blue as part of a fashion fix a while back. This one's in black. It's so pretty. It's called Heard It On, Heard It On The Airwaves and there's two of these. It's number, oops, sorry, 4597. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. It's like this smoky gray and then it has this iridescent reflection to it it's these um beveled um what do you call that it's not, they're not beveled but like a faceted acrylic bead so cute and then the earrings are the same this kind of smoky charcoal really lightweight reflection on it is amazing it is number four five nine seven four five nine seven so to claim that i only have two of them so they're five dollars each plus tax the invoices are due on Saturday. Um, so if there's any additional shopping that you'd want to do, you have a couple of days to do that. It's I don't like to pay shipping, so I don't, I'd like to try to do my best to give you the whole week to shop before you have to worry about, hey there, Jamie, before you have to worry about um, you know, closing your order. Because why would you want to pay shipping like, you know, each time? That's crazy. Okay next oh these are adorable these are adorable yes so on this video yep so i think i just have to go in and change some settings um you know it, it <coughs> excuse me it asked me last time about the settings and then when i clicked it to go into the group this time <coughs> what is in my throat they got popcorn before it came down it wasn't buttered yet so it was like so dry anyways um 
So when it didn't ask me for the settings, I was like, oh, I guess it's just like all set up and good to go. Evidently not. Okay. This next item, it's really cute. I've sold out of it <clears throat> several times and I was able to um, get some more through my hostess rewards. But this pair of earrings is called Lotus Ponds. Lotus Ponds, it's number 0191. They're just small. Let me hold them up on the bust so you can see with like a plain background. They're just little lotus flowers. They're relatively small size and they're in silver. You only have two pairs. So to claim that you come at 0191, there's only two of them. All right, I have to kind of toggle back and forth here. Yeah, so the video I was, so with the StreamYard, I can go live um, in three places simultaneously. So it's not like it's shared from one to another is like going to all three at the same time. And I guess there was a setting in the group. Do you know who the lady was by any chance? I guess if I opened up the group and looked at the comments, although it might not be there anymore. Um, anyways, my bad, but I thought it was all good. I guess not. Hopefully we can uh, get her back. I'm not sure who that was. And I think it deleted it from the group. <clears throat> anyway, if you remember who it was, let me know. All right, next item is Cupid Charm. I only have two. It's number 4067. It's a really cute heart themed necklace. Let me show it to you on the bust. Oh my gosh. Okay, there you go. So it's a short necklace. It's in silver and it's got the heart kind of on, out, on the outside and then two hearts on the inside. One has some rhinestones and then one is just kind of a shiny silver. The earrings are just little white rhinestones. Um, so I have two of these, right? Super simple. This can be like really fun for Mother's Day, I think also, or just like an anytime gift because it's like, I mean, any it's, an, it's a great every person uh, kind of necklace there. So that's 4067. Oh, it was Teresa. Well, hopefully she'll find us. <clears throat> I wasn't even aware that I wasn't hundred percent sure that she was in the group. I know she's on the business page, but anyhow, um, maybe I can try to share it to her messenger or something. Anyhow, ah, there, Melissa, how are you? Oh, Melissa recently married so yay congratulations melissa so excited for her we've been uh connected on facebook for see my daughter just turned four in january and when i first connected with melissa i had like just found out i was pregnant with my daughter like just found out like i was kind of freaking out like oh my gosh i already have four kids and i'm gonna have a fifth kid um so it's got to be about five years because she's what January and it's March. Yeah. So about five years already. That's crazy. Yep. Let me get the next name for this. We've got all of our technology now. Okay. These earrings here are number four, six, five, seven, and they're called crown heiress and they're white rhinestones. And I have two pairs of them size wise. Oh my gosh. Are those freaking amazing? They're so dramatic. Right? They're so gorgeous, so beautiful. They're $5. So cute. Can't beat them. Very elegant. Like, I feel like I automatically felt like my, um, I don't know, elegant factor, just like, you know, quadrupled or something. These are amazing earrings. Four, six, five, seven on those. There's only two pairs. Only two. These are so pretty. Okay, I'll, I'll have to message Violet later. I can tell her I can check it. Yep, <clears throat> there's Melissa. And then hopefully Teresa uh, can find her way back. But next pair, these are another like great. Oh yeah, that was Jamie. No problem. Thank you, Monica, for being so extremely helpful. All right, next item. These are really cute. Soulful Samba, and these are in black. 
So they're just a, a larger acrylic and then um, a smaller one. They're really lightweight, um, but they're kind of funky, a little bit of a statement earring. Um, with being black, you can wear them with anything and super duper lightweight. Those are 0076. And I'm trying to think if I had them in any other color right now. I know at one point I did have them in purple. I'd have to check my website to see if I have those anymore. Um, but I do have two pairs in black. So if you're not sure if you want to do your shopping now, you can always write down the numbers of the items you might be interested in. And then at a later time, you can uh, just go directly to my website, type those numbers in, and you can see whether or not there's any left. Uh, with there only being two, you know, there's a chance it would be sold out, but also a chance it would still be there. <clears throat> and if you put the number in the search bar of my website, then that item would show up. Thank you, Monica, for tagging some friends. It is appreciated. All right, next. All right. Got it. This one's called Zen Commandments. It's 4072 Zen Commandments. This is an urban bracelet. It's labeled as part of the ladies collection. Um, I'm gonna put it on. I mean, it fits pretty snug. I don't know if it would be too tight on a much larger wrist, like if you wanted to purchase it for some of the larger wrist or um, a man in your life, because it's certainly like not anything about it that's particularly feminine, but it's like a black and white marble beads and then a couple little silver accent pieces here and there. Just super simple. Just get a little something on your wrist that is 4072 Zen Commandments. It's in black, so it's black and white, marbled with some silver accent. Oh, it sounds like I'm getting some messages. <laughs> oh. I'll just message her back. That's Violet is asking me questions. She um is a customer and a friend, and she also um, sells paparazzi. Um, so she's asking me questions, but let's stay focused. Okay, next item is um, another uh, bracelet, kind of urban in style. So this bracelet has a magnetic closure at 0093. Um, let me show you. So this one just has magnetic closure on it. So for people who maybe struggle with a clasp, right, um, that's super easy to put on and it pretty much will close up like on its own. Um, the size is not adjustable. This one has a little bit of more room um, than the stretchy one. And you can see it has like gunmetal hardware and then it has a black faceted bead right there in the middle and then a magnetic closure. So that's 0093 on that one. I love the magnetic jewelry. It's so, so easy um, to put on and take off. I really fudge around when I got the clasps for the bracelets, like I can't manage it with one hand. Necklaces are fine because I can use two hands, but I can't manage it with, uh, <clears throat> with just one hand. All right. Oh, next. Do not start yawning. Do not start yawning. I'm trying really hard to not yawn. Hey, there's Nancy with her Thursday and there's Christina. All right, awesome. Awesome, thank you. All right, next item. Uh, this is kind of a fun pearly bracelet. It's stretchy. Don't you love this mug? To me, you are perfect. It has a little, little pause. And then, oh, what does our other one say? We've got another cat-themed mug. And I'll be darned if I can think of what it says. I was just using it earlier today. Anyhow, I got it from the dollar store. Super cute. They got really great mugs. I think all of my, I think all of my plates and bowls and things are from the dollar store too. Because I'm like, dude, they're like a dollar. We've got five kids. Things get broken, you know, probably more often than in most families and I'm like, all right, for a buck, 
go back, find something that kind of matches. So this has the white pearly beads. And then it has this um, little section here that are all these white rhinestones. It's going to sit just like right on top of your wrist. It's stretchy, super easy to put on. Okay, it looks really elegant. You've got the pearls and then the white rhinestones. So super duper pretty. Can't go wrong. I only have two of them. It's 4059 for that. Ooh, now it's getting warm in here. I've got the little heater like right next to me. What's that burning smell? <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh. Holy moly. The school called me the other day. And uh, if you know the goings on, oh, now I'm going to be cold. From this past school year, um, been a couple of kids who have needed mom to come up to the principal's office. Okay, there's one kid who's needed mom to come to the principal uh, principal's office. And, um, oh, and then there was like a, a stretch of like, I don't know how many weeks where like somebody kept being sick and needing to come home. I think like in total, it ended up being like 12 weeks constantly where like somebody was home or got sent home or just never had gone in the first place. And it was like maddening, totally maddening. And so it came to a point where I told the secretary, like, I am not going to answer the phone. You're calling me from school. Like, I am not going to answer the phone. I'm going to be like, this is a new phone. Who's this? It's, it's not Mrs. Carpenter. It is not. I don't know who she is. <laughs> I'm not her. Like, no, it's too cold. Um, but so the secretary called a couple days ago and I was like, oh gosh, seriously. Um, but they just needed my like social security number and stuff because we're, I'm going on the eighth grade field trip because my oldest is in eighth grade now. Freaking crazy. Uh, they're taking a trip to Washington DC and so I'm going to chaperone <clears throat> and they needed my social security number to like register for a White House tour. Okay, so this has a silver chain. It's ultra super simple. You see on the, I thought it, I thought it was like a satellite chain, but it's not. It's just a very kind of glitzy, reflective, very dainty chain. And then you've just got that one little heart pendant there with the teeny tiny little white rhinestones. And then you get these earrings that come with it. This is like a, you like, you can't go wrong. Really simple necklace. There's only two of them. It's number 4598 called Glow by Heart and is the white rhinestones. So that is in white. And those are the last two. There's only two of them left. Um, I know a number of you were waiting on sending out the free jewelry. You had filled out the Google form. I see your <laughs> responses. Um, it is really hard um, to try to keep up with everything. I know it's there and I am going to get to it. Um, I just didn't get to it yet. My youngest has been going to pre-K for half a day and she had been going for a full day, but then she wouldn't go to sleep at night because she'd take a nap and hadn't seen mom all day. So now we went to half a day, which means bedtimes are better, but um, she's gone for half a day instead of the full day. All right, these are a really fun pair of earrings. These are silver hoop earrings. They're called Lone Star Shimmer. I have two of them and to claim it's number 0122. These are just silver and then they've got like this nautical star right there on the front. Okay, so when you wear them, the star is going to hang like down kind of towards the, towards the bottom of the hoop. Really lightweight. These are number 0122. Everybody's so Tell me something. Zero, one, two, two. Holy mackerel. It's daylight savings time is this weekend. Is that right? Ah! <laughs> like, already not getting enough sleep. And then we're going to switch the time and lose an hour. Right? Oh, just perfect. <laughs> just what I need. Lose an hour. Oh my gosh. Not a fan. 
Not a fan of that at all. Oh, it's going to be rough, rough, rough. Okay, 0208. This is called Keep the Peace, and this is in silver. I have two of them. It says it's silver when I look at it. I definitely see some more like sandy browns in there. Maybe it's silver because the hardware in between the stones are silver. The stones are certainly, you know, shades of gray and brown. So a lot of very neutral shades. It's stretchy, really simple. It's technically part of the men's collection, so it has a little bit more room than the stretchy bracelets that are specifically for the ladies. And so this can fit the ladies or the gentlemen. Ladies, it'll be just a little um, roomier. Just on Sunday. Yeah, I don't know. It's never just on one day. <laughs> I've done some. Have you ever seen any book themed jewelry? Um, not particularly other than like they've got like Bible verse jewelry and some things that kind of look like like tablets or like book covers. <laughs> I was going to make it to church on Sunday, maybe an hour early. My kids, <clears throat> my two oldest kids have started going to um, a different church up the street. Um, the church we've been at for the last 10 years or so. Um, there's not a lot between like when the kids finish fifth grade and then they like start middle school, high school. It's kind of like they go from like coloring pictures in Sunday school, with like the little kids and then like sitting in the, the sermon. Uh, but the church just up the street has like things specifically geared towards middle schoolers and high schoolers and like they give them breakfast and they do a worship time and they do um, a sermon with, I can't get this open. A sermon with a youth pastor um, and my kids really really like it and then afterwards they can go like play in the gym and <clears throat> so they've been going there it's really nice is it it's um overlaps the exact same time as the church that we are members of which we're keeping the youngest kids and my husband and i um, are still there and they're literally like a block and a half away from each other and so it's um like super duper easy to get everybody where they need to go and um both places are like a within like a three minute drive of our house so everything's super close which is nice i just lost the back of the earring okay so these great little pair of earrings are black and they just have all these little clusters of black rhinestones here they are size wise kind of looking a little bit like scaly or like a turtle shell like a mosaic of a turtle shell or something but they're really fun um they're not entirely flat they have a little bit of a curve to them but it's just a really great pair of earrings they're black they've got the rhinestones and um size wise like you know compared to my thumb like it's it's not that big so if you don't like earrings that are too large um these are a great option for you. There's 0069. There's only two of them left. Um, but it's really tough. I mean, I remember being like around that age and I don't want them to get kind of disinterested um, in church and I want them to look forward to going and um, that's just something that's kind of lacking with where we are uh, have been going the past 10 years I'm like oh well now we have middle schooler and soon to be a high schooler hey there Jeanette all right next item if you do any sort of spring celebration if you go to like a church service or something like that this is a cute necklace that you could wear white is a great color for spring this is called tidal tees and this is in white I have two of them it's number four zero five six to you on the bus so this is like pulled up significantly but it's got this kind of like seashell uh material you can see like the the waves in the material the different colors that reflect out 
and then it just has a little silver tab there at the top um, lengthwise so there it is at the bottom is it so pretty how it reflects it just has like that, that wavy um, kind of reflection on there my light is reflecting a little too much but there it is right really cute uh, lengthwise let me hold this up okay. it would be about like right here so below the bust well above the belly button um, but like really great necklace just to throw on with like a sundress or something oh hey Hilda thank you I got on the fake eyelashes today I went to pick up my four-year-old and the teacher was like oh my gosh you went on your makeup why like where are you going and I was like nowhere I just felt like getting ready for the day um because I made that commitment to myself a couple weeks ago like I'm gonna get ready for the day because I realized I've been wearing the same thing for like too long and then look I'm wearing like the same like hoodie like I always end up in the same <laughs> cycle of clothes but I was like I had I wasn't getting ready in the mornings I was just kind of like whatever you know it's like I'm home and I'm I'm, I'm busy and get going and then I realized at lunchtime like oh I'm still like in my pajamas and I feel frumpy and so I was like I'm gonna put myself together so I actually colored my hair today I was getting some grays so I colored my hair grays gone uh, it's a little lighter brown than normal but I think it's nice usually it goes like a little too dark towards like black and, and I don't really like that and then I was like I'm gonna try something different so then I brushed my hair it was bad was bad because I have a perm and I brushed it and it was like and it was all like frizzy ends and I was like I know what I'll do now I'm gonna get like the, the blow dryer that has the comb on the end and I'm gonna like comb it and dry it and like that will make it and then it was just like straight <laughs> it was like it was just like it was horrible there was like no like nice end it was just like eh, straight and it was terrible so then I was like, well, I'm going to have to buy a curling iron so that I can take my perm and brush it and blow it dry straight and then curl it a little bit so that it doesn't look like I'm like a, like a scarecrow, but like straw for hair. And then, um, there was no same day delivery for a curling iron. So I'm getting it tomorrow, but then I actually don't need it. Cause then I was just like, well, I'm just going to rinse my hair again and I'm going to like scrunch it a little bit. And I, I'm just gonna let it air dry. And then like, I got it air dried and I was like, oh, I should just stay with what I had been doing. And here we are. So, which is kind of like, that's the whole reason I don't get ready half the time in the morning because I spend so much time just to end up where I started. Uh, and other than like the eyelashes, I'm like, why? Why did I just, why did I just do that? Okay, next item is subtropical seasons. I like these. They're just like a cute pair of white earrings. I'm just going to move the light back a little bit because with the white accessories, it's such, um, it, like, it reflects a little too much. And I want you to see the texture on these because they're really cute. <clears throat> so you see from the side, they have the texture. It's like a teardrop shape that is, like, imprinted with, like, this floral um, imprint on there. And they're just this size, but I really like it, especially if you're wearing something that's like colorful or um, like some, some deep, rich colors and you just get that of white, right? So I only have two of these. It's 4422. These are called Subtropical Seasons and they're in white. So like two of them left. So if you want one, you just comment with the number. All right. Where are all the comments? I'm here ready to talk. I would tell you something that happened upstairs before I came down, but I almost started crying. I told my husband because I was laughing so hard. And I know if I told you, I would probably start crying from laughing and then my eyelashes might fall off. And then I would just be like, see, now why did I put them on? And it would be a total disaster, like a total disaster. So it's probably best I keep it to myself. Okay. Next item is, oh, okay. <clears throat> like I had something come into my head uh, when I was, I was upstairs and I was like 
getting my water and my markers and things ready to come downstairs. And I just all of a sudden had like this, this little clip of a song, like so clear in my head that I haven't heard in years. It was the most absurd thing of like, I didn't, I was like, I didn't see anything. I didn't read anything. Like, I have no idea why that just went through my head, like, so clearly. No clue. <laughs> Weirdest thing. This is Eco Echoes in black. I have two of them. <laughs> my husband was like, what? <laughs> I don't know. I've got no clue here. All right, so this is extra long tassel at the bottom. So this would look really cute um, during the summer if you just got out like a tank top. Um, some sort of like, I always want to say like, uh, I think I need to take them off tonight. I am by no means an expert, uh, but they're just glued on. So I, I should probably take them off. Um, I don't want to wake up in the morning with like my eyes all inflamed or something um or like like a lash like on my cheek or like stuck in my hair or have like on my pillow just like oh my god what is that when i wake up in the morning and like just scare the pee out of myself okay so this has this extra long tassel i always and i'm sure these are great for wearing during the winter too um just, i wear like sweatshirts all winter and i'm like well i could really wear like this kind of necklace with a sweatshirt with a sweater it would be nice um so you know very long tassel you've got this kind of southwest kind of inspired oh i'm looking at it i kind of see a cat do you see a cat <laughs> like put my hand behind i'm like it looks like a cat super cool looks like a cat with a black stone and then it's more of like a medium length by the time you get to the bottom of the tassel it's long but this pen is going to sit just below the bust, and then you just have the tassel earrings. This is zero two zero zero. <clears throat> Nobody's gonna ask me what song it was. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> oh, I did get my Guns N' Roses tickets. Okay, so we were going to think about going to Hawaii or Florida or Puerto Rico, something, it was our 20th wedding anniversary in August. But our summer is packed. Like we have, um, kids go to camp for a week. <laughs> There's Melissa. And then uh, we're going to see my in-laws for a week because it's our 50th wedding anniversary. And they're taking like all the, uh, their kids and grandkids and stuff on like a week kind of staycation in uh, Michigan. So that's a week. And then we go to Jellystone for a week and uh, stay in the cabin and do our summer stuff. And then there was something else. We wanted to go to Springfield and St. Louis. Now we'll take like a week by the time we do all the different things. It, it was, it was um, from the Lion King. And it was just the part of the song where he goes, when I was a young warthog, like that part. No idea why. Tickets for Guns N' Roses, though. So I was like, I saw it and it popped up in my newsfeed. And I was like, there's not very many bands I would like to go see because, like, I'm not really into music. Um, but I saw it pop up and I was like, you know, I haven't been to a concert in, like, 15 years very strange. I know. <laughs> it's just a bam, right? Right there in my head. And I was like, oh, I think I would like to go. And it's at Wrigley Field and we live in Chicago. Um, we actually only live like four miles from Wrigley Field. The church we got married at 20 years ago is like four blocks from Wrigley Field. It's right there in Wrigleyville. And so I was like, oh, well, we'll see how much the tickets are. You know, like every time a Guns N' Roses song comes on, I'm like cranking that up. And the kids are like, oh, mom. Uh, the tickets were really, oh, are you really, Hilda? The tickets were pretty um, reasonable. You could be in the pit and get hors d'oeuvres and drinks for like 300 bucks. But I want to be in the pit. 
I'm grown. I don't want to be in the pit. And I don't want standing room. I want to sit. No pit. I want to sit. So we bought seats <clears throat> like in the you know, regular seating area, like you'd sit for a baseball game, right behind home plate, like the 10th row behind home plate. And it was like $169 per ticket. Um, but when I was looking at other ticket websites, they were like, for those same tickets, because they were like a, a, what, like a third party or something. And they were asking like $800 for those same tickets if you bought them through a third party. And I was like, whoa, like $800 for a, a concert? That seems really crazy. But then when I went and bought them directly through Wrigley Field, I was like, oh, 150 Like, what a business to have, right? Buy tickets for 150 and sell them for $800. My goodness. All right, next. Let's have a look at this. So what concert are you going to, Hilda? I love this necklace. It's Starry Anthem. It's in black. It's in like a gunmetal. And it has stars all over it. It's a short necklace. Um, no, Jerry Ann got this one in her last order or uh, the order that may or may not have arrived yet. It's just a pretty super simple necklace. It's short, it's gunmetal, and it's just full of all these um, clusters of little gunmetal rhinestone stars. Like you can't get much more simple than that. And then little itty bitty little star earrings. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. That's 4665. So I have two of those. And it's just a short necklace. Let's see. What did Hilda say? $60? Oh. Yeah, I, I bet like, you know, you're like high up. Because I was so surprised that the tickets we got were the price that they were. I can imagine if you were like in the fourth level or something. I don't know that you could get them for much cheaper. But um, so I've been like rocking out to Guns N' Roses while I'm doing some some behind the scenes work. But I, I have to like cool it a little bit because I don't want to totally burn myself out that by the time the concert gets here, I'm like, eh. Because <laughs> like I, I have a tendency to do that of like, just burn myself out on something. I like work really hard or go really hard at something. And then when I'm done, I'm like totally done. I'm totally done when I'm done. Like I'm a hundred percent in and then I'm a hundred percent out. Like there's no like in between for me. I'm like all in or all out. All right. Next is a flexi cuff bracelet. This is 0195. It's called Timelessly Tiny and it's in white. I think I saw this in gold uh, last week. Ow. Now I gotta pick this thing up from the floor. Good night. Oh. So I have kickboxing tomorrow and personal training. And I was kind of frustrated with myself because um, I'm getting stronger, I know. I can do uh, workouts at more high intensity now where before I was like all the low intensity like I don't jump I still have to be careful jumping because I've had five kids and my bladder doesn't cooperate but I've been able to go more high intensity and for longer and like, so like yes I'm getting stronger but I'm not losing the weight so I was doing some reading about my diet and I definitely need to change that um, so that's what I was doing last night um, was doing some uh, reading about ways I can change my diet to help me lose some weight. So this is Timelessly Tiny. It's a flexi cuff. It's super dainty and it just has itty bitty little rhinestones. So easy and comfy to put on. And it's just like that. I have two of them. It's 0195. Holy moly. I feel like I'm getting a headache all of a sudden. Probably because I haven't had the amount of sugar uh, today that my body's used to having. because that was the number one thing I was reading was like, cut back on the sugar, because if you have sugar, your body will burn the sugar for energy and then store the rest of it as fat. And then your body actually never gets to burning the fat because it's constantly burning the sugar. I love sugar. I love sweet food. And, um, it's a little tough, but I'm trying to hang in there. See, I see you, Barbara, for 0195. Where's the concert at that you're going to? Don't let me Oh my gosh. 
start yawning. Don't start yawning. Hey, Angela. Is there a song with Angela? Maybe that's Pamela. <laughs> I got, I got like crazy songs in my head. Um, maybe it's Pam. Is there a song like Angela or is it Pamela? <clears throat> I don't know. Anyways, either way, welcome. Zero two one zero. Maybe it's none of those. He's like, no, I know this song, and it's neither Pamela nor Angela. It's, I just had it in my head. Don't tell me. Oh, gosh, who is it? Somebody tell me. No, somebody help me. I think it's Rod Stewart, maybe. No? Elvis Costello, maybe. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, God, I'm going to need Sam down here. Zero, two, one, zero. Sam! These are Adobe Air. These are in silver. I have two of them. So you see, like, the grayish silver. And then you've got the brown wooden and then the silver leaves. Leaves. These are zero, two, one, zero. What is the Elvis Costello song that goes... Somebody's name? Allison. Allison. Allison, See, I'm asking them. They're like, I don't know. So I thought it was, I saw Angela. I was like, oh, it's like Angela. No, it's not it. Maybe it's Pamela. It's not Pamela. What is it? It's hard to tip of my tongue. Allison. Thank you. I know he would know. Zero, two, one, zero on those. But you know what? Whatever, right? All right, next. Item. This is a really cute one. This is, I don't know how many years old this one is, but if you um, like get your hands on some vintage pieces, a little harder to come by unless you're shopping with someone who's got, um, ooh, stop yawning, an inventory that's even uh, crazy bigger than what I've got here to show you. And then when them paparazzi for a long time, gosh, I don't even know when this one was released, but it's so super cute. It's called Bear Your Heart. It's 0194. I feel like I'm starting to like get a little like in my eye. It's probably like a caffeine and or sugar issue. <laughs> you see my eye like, uh, uh, I'm trying to show you jewelry. What is going on with you? Okay. Silver chain. <laughs> I don't know Melissa is still here. It was years back. We were talking about something and I mentioned lunch lady land. <laughs> Anybody familiar with the lunch lady land? Is that what it's called? Lunch lady land. And Melissa looked it up and she's like, I cannot unsee that now. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Okay, so this is a silver necklace. You've got the silver pendant with the heart cut out and some white rhinestones. And look at how adorable the earrings are. They're little heart earrings, little heart rhinestones. So cute. 0194. Angie, but is there a song, Angie, by the Rolling Stones? Or are you just making that up? I don't know. I forget what song it is. My husband and I always laugh. It's a Rolling Stones song. And it's, it says something about, I can't say the word on, on my broadcast. It's a four letter word for poop, which is also a four letter word. And it's something about like the poop on my shoe or something. And it's a, it's a Rolling Stones song. And we always laugh because before we had kids, we went to eat at a restaurant together. <laughs> My husband would be down here laughing. But to eat at a restaurant together. And the waitress comes over and I was like, oh my gosh, she smells like, something smells like dog poop. I think that the waitress stepped in dog poop. It's horrible. Who stepped in the dog poop? <laughs> 
oh my gosh i'm sure the waitress was thinking the same thing about me like what is wrong with this lady like you totally stepped in something before you came in here it's not okay um but she still had to serve us i had to excuse myself briefly It also reminds me, see, my husband and I need to just go have some fun together sometimes. We don't get to anymore with all the kids. But I've told the kids uh, a fun pastime that he and I used to do before we were married is, I, I don't know if this is the case in the suburbs. <clears throat> I've lived in the city um, since 1999 and it's 2023. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I don't. We were seated very near to the door and the windows, which was probably a little strategic on their uh, part. Um, but my husband and I met, we were both working at Borders in, uh, so it was a bookstore. I don't know if there's still any open, um, like 2000. And uh, it was in, in the Chicago, obviously, and like a lot of homeless people in Chicago and some people come in and like go in the bathroom and clean themselves up in there. Um, not always very modest. Um, and just do some questionable things in the bathroom. <clears throat> so you had to get a little token for the door. We would work the information desk and you'd give out the tokens. So people could go put their token in the door. Didn't they do that on happy days? Wasn't there a happy days episode where uh, what's the guy, the guy who owned, was it Al? Where, is it Al? And he, he put, um, he put coin things on the door, right? And then the Fonz is like, hey, and like, you know, gets the door open. Isn't that a happy days thing? Uh, oh, so we would have a lot of fun. We would go in there in our day off. And then we'd also go other places and we would just walk around the stores and I, I can't do it because I can't lie for anything and I can't pull a joke on anyone because I will just start laughing. Two different, oh, were there two different guys with the diner. Uh, so one of our favorite pastimes, we would just go to different places and my husband could keep a really straight face and we would go in there. And he put a whoopee cushion under his coat and we would just walk around and uh, do the whoopee cushion. And uh, <laughs> like, I need a token for the restroom, please. Please, it's an emergency. <laughs> like, can you... I would be dying and be laughing so hard. And he could just keep a straight face the whole time. It's like, not me. You're like, excuse me. And you walk past somebody and I would be dying laughing. It was the funniest thing. And that's how we got our kicks. These are 4064, and it, it still makes a good laugh. 4064 Sequoia Forest. These are in black. There's silver on the back. And then on the front, it's uh, it's wood. And then they're kind of putting this geometric type of pattern there. Right? Good, innocent fun. Right? Didn't hurt anybody. Uh, just got a couple laughs. There's some guy, on the, he makes his videos, like going through Walmart doing that. It's I will cry watching those videos, laughing so hard. 4064. <clears throat> Anybody else? I didn't see um, Melissa say anything, but yeah. She probably heard me say it was like, I'm out. I never want to see that video ever again. It was Chris Farley and Adam Sandler from like the 90s. Really funny. Funny, funny, good times. Okay. Next. These are Royal Remix. Royal Remix 4061. Um, so this program records my videos and then I can like edit and cut them and repurpose. So I might just have to like edit create a video of me telling a story about um what my husband and i would do for fun why not these are royal remix four zero six one are you serious monica oh it's so 
Um, not jokes. Like I don't like if somebody just tells me a joke, I'm like, that's gross. But like, <laughs> like the prank people. Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. We were watching Parks and Rec and they've got like where um Leslie goes and visits the guys at the at the radio station and like they're totally just like disgusting shock jocks and <laughs> my husband and I so hard. We can hardly breathe. Holy mackerel. These are royal remix. These are silver and then they've got the gunmetal uh rhinestones in there, a small one at the top, the larger at the bottom. Definitely a pair of statement earrings, really fantastic. I think you can make those kind of rock and roll, right? They're kind of like a boho style, although like I feel like brass and gold are more of like a boho metal, but um I feel like the style or could be kind of a um, I don't know kind of elegant anyways 4061 hey marlene oh marlene knows that we like to laugh i got gotcha, you barbara marlene and i have had plenty of laughs um from just funny things that have happened uh during some live sales um yeah one in particular um that i'm thinking of i got you barbara but if I brought it up again, only she and I would understand. It'd be like an inside joke, but <clears throat> I don't know if Marlene remembers, but it was when my mom was over and found my, um, my sports bra undergarment. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> she was really confused about what is, what, what is this thing? Oh, thank you. I think I got them from Five Below. I don't know. Who knows? I, I found them in the makeup bag and I'm sure I bought them before I went to Vegas last year. I'm not going this year. There's just too much, um, too much to do. Um, and if I were to go, I would, um, <laughs> I think, yeah, remember that. Uh, if I were to go, my kids would be coming home from being away at camp for a week. My oldest two, Pot, yeah, it would just be my oldest too. Would be returning from being away at camp for like five days, nights. And then I would see them for like a day and a half. Then I'd be like, see ya. And um, my kids were like, whatever, I wouldn't care. I'd be totally fine with that. But like, I'm not totally fine with that. I don't want to like not see them and talk to them about camp and help them like re acclimate to being at home. And then just be like, I know you're at camp for a week and now you're going to go to grandma's for a week and like just pass you around for the whole day gone summer. Zero, one, two, one. <clears throat> this is a guiding socialite and this is in blue. So it's a short necklace. And then this is a blue rhinestone right there in the middle. So they have two of these. They have two of these. Those are really pretty blue. The earrings are little white rhinestones and the number is on the screen. It's zero, one, two, one. Why not? You see them all the time. Oh, <laughs> I know. No. Um, gosh, it's so hard. We um, trying to figure out what to do with my oldest for next year. She's supposed to. It's not the Titanic necklace, but it is blue. Um, because she'll be starting high school, but the high school that she wants to go to would be like a 40 to 55 minute drive in traffic every morning and then every afternoon. And I just cannot drive two hours a day um, for high school. And then I have four other kids. And I cannot send her on public transportation because <clears throat> there are some unpredictable people on the public transit. Um, so I was recounting to her a story of, um, when I finally bought a car um, after living in the city for a few years because I had a lady on the bus accuse me of being the bus driver's girlfriend and told me she was going to kill me 
because she had to pay to get on the bus, but I didn't because I was his girlfriend. She was clearly on a lot of drugs. I was like 23 years old, even as 43, it scared the poop out of me. And I was like, I was like sitting in the middle of the bus. And I'm like, well, do I move closer to the bus driver? Like, I want him to be aware of this situation. Like this is, you know, he's responsible for who's on the bus. But then if I move closer to the bus driver and I kind of like start giving him eyeballs, is it going to confirm to this lady who's like on another planet because she's so drugged up that like I am actually his girlfriend. And then that might make the problem escalate even more. And the bus driver was basically like, do, 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 not paying attention. Like, I don't want to deal with this crazy lady. Just let her kill you and I'll keep driving my route. So finally we get to like a place where I can get off of the bus and like hop on a train. And this lady gets up out of her seat and she follows me off the bus. I'm gonna kill you. I'm like, holy mackerel. So I like get off the bus, like running across the street in front of the bus, across the street to get to the train station. Like, run, 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 run. And I was like, help, somebody help me. This lady is going to kill me. She thinks I am the bus driver's girlfriend and she is going to murder me. And they had to like get in between and she's like, ah, and I was like, Oh my God. Oh my God. So no, no, we're not going to do public transportation. We're just not going to do that. And then I bought a car and I've taken the car. Well, I, I would, I was trying to really balance that. Um, but yeah, he was, he was totally rejecting the fact that I was his girlfriend. And of course I wasn't, um, he was not interested in, in making sure that I had any degree of safety whatsoever. <laughs> well, he didn't want to be killed, but he's like, yeah, I see that all the time. You're just another broad. Just make sure you get off the bus before you actually unalive. Um, he was a terrible fake boyfriend. Just make sure you get off the bus before you, you know, do any, any real damage. Okay, so this is a navy blue bracelet set. You've got four bracelets in here. So one's blue and silver, all blue, all silver, and then one that's kind of a, a mixture here. So anyhow, that's 4069. I have two of those. This is terrible. So then we're like, okay, so we're looking at this, um, like private high school, it's gonna be up in Niles. <clears throat> so then we'd be like on the expressway during rush hour, trying to get to school with a child who's perpetually late for a school that's literally two minutes away. 90 seconds if there's no traffic, we're still late. I'm like that, that's just, and then she's like, and I'm not wearing a uniform anymore. And I'm like, okay, well, you know what? I'm not about to be paying all that money to be like dragging you out of bed to be sitting in traffic. So we're not going to do that. But there's a school like right up the street, but that school, um, had, um, earlier this school year, there's a Michoacana across the street and they had, um, there's a shooting right at 3 PM when it was dismissal time for all the students at that school. And so I'm kind of, Yes, and things can happen anywhere, but if you are so bold to be shooting at other people in broad daylight in front of a school and an ice cream shop, like, that's a deal breaker. So this is, and this is like the first time there's been a shooting at or near the school. It's like, oh yeah, this person was shot in the alley right behind the school. There's another shooting, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, oh, I can't. So there's that. These are silver and they've got like a olive green right in the middle. Real small, kind of dainty earrings. So that's not going to work. So like, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this child. Um, silver and then green. So my mom was like, well, she can come live with me and she can go to the high school that you went to. But like, so I'm just going to have my daughter go live like away from me five days a week. And then I see her on the weekends. Like, 
I was like, mom, like, I don't think you want to be dealing with high school all over again. Like, so I don't know. So then I was like, okay, well, maybe we try to move before the school year starts. Um, that's probably unlikely. Um, so I was like, okay, so I was at the gym and I'm like, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. Like, this is, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, so at the gym. Uh, no, it's not Logos, Logos, it's a K through 12, um, private Christian school. Um, uh, but anyways, and then like, you have to take a test and they had to look at test scores and, uh, she's really strong in reading and writing, but just doesn't test well in math. And then they're like, well, we have to have an interview, make sure that, you know, she's well-behaved, responsible. And I was like, yeah, you're great. You know, she's a wonderful, very, and then no sooner do I send that email to the school saying she's very responsible, very creative, compassionate. She works hard. The school calls me like, Mrs. Carpenter, we need you to come up here right now. Anna Nice is in the office and she's yelling and I'm just like, like, and that's like, that's like the school that is right up the street where we're members of the church and the church has the school as a ministry of the church. So like we know everybody and they try to like, everybody tries to work together and like, I'm like, hey, go to a new place. Like I can't, I can't do this. And I can't be driving 30 minutes to go somewhere. It's like, that's not going to work. Purple and then silver rhinestones. This is a bracelet. It's a clasp closure on the bracelet. So really cute purple and dark silver. That's four, six, five, eight. There's two of those. So then I was at the gym, like, I, I don't know what I am going to do. Um, so I was like, I, I guess we're going to have to homeschool. She of course, like, homeschooling was like the worst years of my entire life, you know, but I'm like, what other choice do I have? Like, like what other choice do I have? Um, so I found some co-ops and like fine arts classes and stuff, like just fine arts. I'm like, just do the bare minimum Acad like academics for high school. Just like do like the bare minimum, you know, do what you need to, to get your GED degree, diploma, whatever it is, and focus on your art, focus on the fine arts, go work at, um, my uncle has a farm and she has to be a veterinarian, go work on the farm, help with the animals, you know, like do this, do that. And, uh, he's so cute. These are probably four years since these have been released. They're so cute. These are a bright, uh, blue and they're a little bit oversized. Oop, that was just the back of the earring. They've got some texture around the outer part and then they've got a little rivet there. And here they are size wise, super duper fun. These are four, six, two, seven, four, six, two, seven. So I was like, oh, God, well, okay. It's like, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take what I would pay for tuition for a private high school. And then if she does the work at home, right, of like online school work and she passes all of her classes, I'm going to put that tuition money aside that I would have been paying. And then she can use that money at the end of the year to like towards, um, I don't know, a car, towards a... Uh, renting a stable for a horse, like towards, I don't know, some sort of thing that she's interested in doing. <clears throat> she's all smiling on it. Oh, and then I picked her up from school on Friday and I picked her up. And she goes, I do not want to have you pay me to be homeschooled. And I'm like, oh, just like taking money, I would pay for tuition and just kind of like it as an incentive of like, okay, at the end of your homeschooling, you'd have this much money. You can put it towards college. You can put it towards a car, you can put it towards an apartment, you can put it towards a house, you can put it towards buying a pet, you can put it towards like something that's the next chapter in your life. And I was like, okay, you know, whatever. Yeah, I kind of thought it, but I don't know, like, do they do contracts for like ride share kind of things? I guess if you could find like one person who, who Ubered, because if that was that sort of thing, I'd want her with the same person um, every day, at least on the way there, and the same person every day on the way home. 
And I was like, okay, well, and talked to her a little bit about my concerns and all the different <clears throat> options that she had. And I was like, okay, I told you what the issues are and I'm just gonna, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it later. And then she came downstairs later and she's like, well, it's just so, so sweet. So sweet. She said, I'm gonna homeschool. You don't have to bribe me to be here. So if I'm gonna homeschool, I, I don't want you to give me any money. It's like, all right. I'm still gonna put the money aside. Um, so I'm like, you're gonna wanna go to like, they like to go to iFly uh, up there in Rosemount where we do the indoor skydiving. So she likes to do that. My oldest son likes to do that. Um, so these are silver, the floral inspired earrings. I, I could look into it. Uh, floral inspired earrings, silver. Well, so here's the thing about the school she was applying for. Uh, we didn't find out yet. Silver earrings, they've got the purple rhinestone in the middle. They're kind of funky. They feel like kind of like mod, like 60s kind of style to them. These look cute with like a pair of overalls and a t-shirt during the summer. And then these like really fun, funky earrings. Oh, wait, this is the wrong number. These are 4080 Meadow Musical, 4080. So we have a friend, so a family friend. Uh, they used to go to the church with us and they moved on to a different church, the church we were actually looking at a couple weeks ago. And two of their daughters went to that school. So I was like, hey, give me the down low because, you know, it's going to be a really huge commitment um, if she gets in. You know, there's so much driving to get there. It's like 45 minutes each way. And oh, my gosh. So the parents tell me, oh, all of the fine arts things are after school. What? It's not during school. It's after school. So you have a regular high school school day. Then, so your regular high school, normal, regular high school classes, regular, whatever. And then after school, there are programs that they can get involved with that are arts related. So basically my friend told me for his daughters. So they would leave in the morning at seven o'clock get to school by, you know, 7.30, school starts 7.45, 8 o'clock, go to school until 3, 3.15, ow, 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 oh my, I just poked my finger, good night, um, and then from 3.30 until 5 or 3 to 5 is when they do their art, then from 5, 5.30, they come home, so they're home at 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, then they've got an hour, hour and a half of homework. But if you have a kid who doesn't like to do homework and they're very resistant, that's going to be an hour, an hour and a half of homework. That's going to be like three hours of homework or the homework's just not getting done. So you would leave here at seven, have school from eight to three, do art from three to five, come home from five to six, do homework from six to eight and go to bed. And I was like, honey, all of it's after school. Like, it doesn't seem like this is really what we thought it was going to be. Um, because we could do after school things somewhere else and like not have the two hours of driving every day and not have the full school day and then the art. So this is Primrose and Pretty. This is in blue. There's only two of these left. This was the first of this style to be released. This was the first color to be released in this style. I also have one of these in an eggplant purple, and I also have um, a handful of them in light pink. The earrings are also really cute. They're little flowers, and this is in that blue. This is number 0156. So, I know. So then the new church we were looking at, they've got a building that they purchased just for like their middle school, high school, teenage kind of ministry and they have arts visual arts music drama technology like all the arts things it's like hey if you do your minimum school work at home you can go up to the church which is like four blocks away five blocks away and you could do all your art stuff 
anytime they're open, you can be there doing your art stuff. And it's like a five minute drive max. Sounds really good. Then we're also going to be getting chickens. So she picked out the chickens she wanted. <clears throat> They're called silkies. So cute. So we picked, she picked out the kind of chicken she wants. And I was like, look, you take care of the chickens. We're going to get a corn snake. We take care of the corn snake. We always have a garden. So we take care of the garden. We do some cooking. We learn some things about nutrition. You go volunteer at the, at the bird place that she likes to volunteer at. Like we do all of the things that are of interest to you and we do the minimum academics that are required and we just have a more fulfilling life right like more balanced fulfilling life these are extra envious these are in green obviously the middle is all green and the top and the bottom have some green and blue variation in them we only two pairs left they're zero zero six eight so we're all of her friends going Right. So in Chicago, I'm not sure how familiar you are. Um, there's not just, I mean, you have like a neighborhood school, <clears throat> but like when I grew up in the suburbs, it's like, I gotcha, Marlene. It's like everybody who went to middle school together either went to the public high school or they went to the private Catholic high school. Like everybody went to like one of two places, right? So either everybody went here or everybody went there and that was it. And you moved along with your friends. But um, in Chicago, let me write that down. We have one more claim before we pull a name. There's like specialty schools. They have to apply for kind of like college where like you have to like apply and audition. There's like magnet schools. Like it's a whole ridiculous <coughs> process for all the different types of schools. There's a neighborhood school, which you could obviously get into, but that's the one that had the shooting outside by the ice cream place and then the shooting in the alley. And um, there's always like tons of police outside, which is like, great. I'm glad that they're there, but it's just not like the best. Right. So I'm like, Hey, just like get, get the work done. Cause she just get it done. <laughs> like any way you need to do an online school and then focus on the things that are going to be part of your future. Right. She wants to be a veterinarian. She's very skilled artistically. Like those are the two areas that you can develop a lot. You know, you can learn a lot by taking care of the chickens and researching the chickens, write your paper about the chicken. Let's do some math about, you know, whatever vitamin supplements a chicken would need and how much the chicken weighs or how much they would have. Like we got a lot we can do like that's more like organically and is more livable more livable right like we're just going to um, I, I will totally have a nervous breakdown doing all of that driving every day because <clears throat> that's just for one kid that's not even for the other four kids and that that's not even including scouts and and soccer and youth group and all the other things that they enjoy doing so this has a dark green like a like a natural tight stone there in the middle you can see some of the veining in the stone heavily textured pendant it's kind of like this Cleopatra type. Let me switch the name. Kind of Cleopatra type, very like commanding look to this necklace. The name of it is right there on the screen. It's 0127. And then these are the earrings that come with it. So 0127. <clears throat> so even like my sister, her oldest is also entering high school next year. And, um, he got offered a scholarship to the local Catholic high school. Uh, he's extremely talented in softball and got offered a full scholarship um, for the first year. And then like, you know, the terms will be negotiated for the following years. Um, but she was kind of in the same situation, even there saying like, if he doesn't get in here, I don't know what I'm going to do. All right, next. Is these are really cute. They're purple earrings. These are called Sunshiny Days. These are purple. They're like a sunflower at the bottom. It's in silver. And then you've got the stack of beads on the side. 
the wooden beads and then like a eggplant color, little accent bead in the middle. All right, they're just like a small, nice, nice accent pair of earrings. Not like big commanding statement, but like they're cute, right? You like you can wear them. I'm always saying summer, 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 summer. Like cute little summer sundress, t-shirt, pair of cutoff jean shorts, some sandals, great pair of earrings just to throw on with that. It's gonna be nice um, swimsuit earrings too, right? You're out at the beach, at the pool. How about you? I don't go under the water like I don't do it like I, I don't anymore. I'm just like I don't feel like dealing with like the makeup and the hair and all that stuff. Um, so I can wear my jewelry because I'm not gonna be going under the water. Really cute for that. Four six zero six for those. So we will see. And like, so we don't want to have kids home again. I, I miss them. I enjoyed the other day. We all went to the zoo because they had Monday off. And so we all went to the zoo and we had such a fun time. Everybody behaved. Everybody was helpful. Like it was just a fun, fun, fun day. And I miss that. Like it's exhausting exhausting but my oldest son and my middle son have expressed wanting to do their learning from home they're both though very like studious very um teachable it's pretty easy going when it comes to school work i don't know i register them for school anyways just so i can be like <clears throat> you've got a spot and we'll figure it out later this is hype girl glamour this is in purple so there's three purple rhinestones here and then the ones in between have like a pinkish iridescent kind of look to them. Simple, short, really dainty chain. So this is four, six, six, three. I don't know. Things are definitely different and I, I was hoping it wouldn't be uh, this challenging, but it is what it is. I'll tell you what, there's one kid, um, he's, 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 he just has to go to school all the time. He, he might have to start going to before school, <laughs> stay for after school. Holy moly. It's a, uh, got one that requires a lot of attention. All right, next. Where is that? Okay, here we go. I showed a blue necklace earlier. I think it was blue. This would look really cute with it. This bracelet, it's just an acrylic stretchy bracelet. It's in navy blue. The number's on the screen. It's in plain sightseer. You can just comment 4049 for that. It's in navy blue. Oh, look how cute it looks with my Nirvana shirt. All right? Just have my Nirvana t-shirt, little blue bracelet, put on a little bit of yellow. Got all that going on. 4049 for that. <clears throat> so I'm looking at this high school stuff and I'm like, no matter what track they're on for high school, like everybody's got to take pre-cal, everybody's got to take trigonometry. And I'm like, but why, 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 like, why, why, why? If you go ask like an electrician or like the, the contractor construction people up the street, or I just go into like the veterinary office. Or a gazillion different places I can go. If I go ask somebody to, to solve this pre-calculus question or this question from a trigonometry textbook, are they going to be able to do it? They're not going to be able to do it. I don't know where you use those skills. I don't know. Is it like quantum physics? Is it like... I don't know. I don't know. But wouldn't you think that like, if you're going into that field... That might be a good time to learn all of those skills and um, formulas and, and ways of doing things like, I kind of feel like, I think it's open, like trigonometry and pre-cal, out, out. Do you mean like those can wait till college? Like once you're on like a, like, like a path towards a career. No, what you think? Architecture and construction. Okay, so like, uh, can't you just wait till you get to college and be like, okay, this person's going into architecture. 
So since you're going into architecture, you need to take trigonometry because as um, an architect, here's how it's going to come in handy. Then you've got like the relevancy, you've got the buy-in, but why are you subjecting all of these other kids to having to take this like very, even for the kids who are going into architecture, like, I don't know if they're going to, like, you're going to see the connections. I don't know. I don't know. You should save it for college. Like, do, do your first year of college. Like, I, I don't know. But, like, I remember taking it to high school, and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. All right, here is a necklace here. This is, and I was, like, very studious, very well-behaved, like, <clears throat> okay, whatever you tell me to do, I'll do it. And I remember being so flipping confused. Medium length necklace. This is silver. Got lots of full tassel at the bottom. You've got this kind of curved pendant right here. And then in the middle, you've got some little dot motif and then these metallic navy blue um, beads. It's a medium length. That's four, five, nine, one. There are two of those. Yeah, I'm not like, don't ever take it, but like, why in high school? I had to take it. And I took one of those, like, when I was in high school. And the counselor was like, so what do you want to do with your life? I don't know. I grew up in like a farming family. So like, my grandpa and my uncles were farmers. <clears throat> My dad laid concrete, so he was like a, worked in construction, he laid concrete. My mom was in, uh, well, she had finished college. She was a medical technologist, so she was working in the lab, working, like, looking at different bodily fluids under microscopes. I'm like, I'm not really interested in that. Like, and then my grandma was like, always like a stay at home, whatever. My uncles all worked on the farm. My aunts were all like you know, waitress or, you know, just like a, not a job you need a college education for. So I don't know what I want to do. So I took one of those career tests. What would you be good at? Mortician. I got, um, hey there. Yeah, I got uh, saying you, you might want to look into being a mortician. <laughs> I definitely don't want to do that. Uh, so I went to college for liberal arts and studied anthropology and sociology because I really liked understanding like how people work as like a community. <clears throat> yeah, well, I was, I wouldn't say I was a nerd, but I was like, you know, academically, I'm more of like a gifted course of study, but I, I, I don't know. I really loved like statistics. It's like, oh, maybe you're like a statistician. But like, how do you get into doing statistician things? Like who does that? I don't, I don't know what I would do with that. And then I just kind of ended up becoming a teacher, like totally unplanned and enjoyed the challenge. In retrospect, I enjoyed the challenge. I don't know that I enjoyed the challenge in the moment. I, my kind of, Achilles heel is that I put a lot of my self-worth was wrapped up in my achievement. <clears throat> so when I tried to do something that I couldn't do, I would never quit. So I'm like, I'm not a quitter. If I'm not good at it, I'm going to figure it out. Because if I quit or I don't figure it out, then I'm a worthless person. Like that was like my self-talk in my head. That's why I stayed with teaching for so long. I was like, I'm going to figure this out because I don't quit. If they don't figure it out, I'm like the biggest loser ever alive in the entire world. So I figured it out and I got really good at it. And then once I was really good at it, I was like, yeah, this, you know, I think I'm done with this now. Um, yeah. So I ended up in all those classes just because I was like, you know, like very academically focused. But that was like my way of avoiding other things I probably should have been dealing with. It's just like, I'm just going to stay busy. I'm just going to do my schoolwork and like. It was very bad because if I couldn't do something, I was like devastated that I couldn't do it, like like beyond devastated. So these are hammer texture, silver earrings, and then you've got the purple. It's a really fun piece. Feels kind of also like kind of mod and funky to me, like 
maybe you'd see like somebody in like the 60s wearing this with like some real cool like ooh, groovy kind of cool clothing 4620 no, were you that antisocial that they said you should be a mortician? <laughs> no, I just answered all these questions of like, no, that I think maybe mortician was like the default for somebody who had just answered no to everything. Would you want to write books? No. Would you like to work with animals? No, I'm allergic to most of them. Are you interested in, you know? Helping cure illnesses. No, it's gross. I don't want to deal with people's bodily fluids. Do you want to be a teacher? No. <laughs> it's like, well, honey. Yeah, right. The only thing left um, for you is uh, to be a mortician. That's just great. That's that's not like the most encouraging um thing i've ever heard i was just like i just i don't think i'm gonna tell anybody that those that was my those were my results um because i'm definitely not interested in that either <laughs> it's like well you know what kid like i tried my best with you I, I i got like i got nothing i got nothing i tried my best all right next united we sparkle this is in blue this is cute um sparkly blue stars. I really love watching fireworks They're on 4th of July. Um, we sit on our back porch. We got like a new back patio a couple years ago. And we don't have to go anywhere for fireworks because they're all, you know, in the whole neighborhood up everywhere. And so we, we sit back there and then we watch the fireworks. And then I very carefully watch like all the cars that are driving past in the alley. So we're right on the alley. And, um, you know, kind of keep my, my eyes and ears peeled for anybody who's up to no good. Um, yeah, because in our alley, too, the alley right outside our house, right next to our house in the past 13 and a half years. I want to say three people actually got shot, like contact with the bullet. Uh, and maybe there were like two others who were shot at, um, but there wasn't an injury that we knew of. So, um, and again, keep an eye out for that. This is 4065. 4065. So that's a, I guess it's just one blue star in the middle and the white rhinestone on either side. So really cute. The earrings are that really pretty blue. The rhinestones, this is 4065. <clears throat> Really, Marlene? Oh, it's so, like, I don't know. You know, sure, like, when I was in school, you know, like, there were, there were fights in the hallways and, like, some crazy stuff. But, like, nobody's ever bringing, like, like weapons, weapons to school. Like, my sister brought a chicken to school when she was like in third grade, <laughs> second or third grade, she brought a chicken to school. Um, we did live like in a, a, in a farmhouse and she, uh, she was dressed up as like a farmer for um, Halloween. And she didn't keep the chicken there all day though. It was just for part of the day. Um, and then my, I don't know, my uncle or my mom or somebody brought the chicken back home. That girl was a pilgrim. <laughs> Why? Why? I was a pilgrim for Halloween. Why? I think my mom just had like the costume and was like, this is what you're going to be. <laughs> you can be uh, wear your overalls like a farmer or you can be a pilgrim. Oh, <laughs> got a picture somewhere. I had like, like, it was like the bonnet, a whole thing. It was a little bit traumatizing. Four seven seven four. Like it's, I didn't want to be that. There was just nothing else to be, and so that's what I was. And I don't know that I remember any other Halloween costume from when I was that young, except for that. And I know I wasn't that multiple times. 
4774. This is Pearl Essence. This is in green. So these mini little beads here with a the pearly finish. Then what is wrong with this one? Okay, and then it has little um these are little acrylic reflective beads and then some silver accents. So very simple. This might be nice for like a like Easter kind of dress up. Oh gosh, I hated dressing up for Easter. Light green. I hated it. Because my mom would always get us Easter hats. Like I don't want it. I don't wear a hat any other day of the year. But all of a sudden I've got to get like this wide brim white wicker Easter hat with like a big bow on it. And like, when have I ever, when, when have I ever worn anything like that in my, in my short life at that time? Never, never, not once. Nope. And we'd all have matching dresses, <clears throat> me and the two sisters, but mine would be a different color because I'm in the middle. So we line up for a picture, they match and mine is different. And then they would tell me that's because I was adopted. <laughs> so mean to me. So mean to me. So I mean the mailman was my dad. I was <laughs> what? Not true. Untrue. Kids are cruel. You had fun with you and your sister? Did you dress up with the hats? And the lacy dresses and things you wouldn't wear any other day of your whole entire life. All right, Party Crasher. This is in green. This is kind of a fun green if you need something for uh, a holiday coming up. This is a nice green for that. I guess see what these comments are. Gloves? Oh, no. You can't even find the Easter bonnets anymore. <laughs> Thank God. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I could ask my mom. <laughs> She's probably still got them somewhere. She buys my daughter like socks. Um, cute, well, she thinks, and my daughter thinks they're cute little socks. I hated those socks when I was little. And my mom buys the same one for my youngest daughter. Isn't this cute? Isn't that a cute green, uh, pearly kind of finish to them? Kind of fun and kind of clustered there at the two larger pearly beads on the side. And then you've got the earrings up here. So super cute. That can be really adorable if you're doing like a St. Patrick's Day thing. That is four, six, five, nine. But she buys her like the ballerina socks where like they fold over and then they've got the ruffles. I know, right? They're really cute. I bought a, like an overlay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hated those lace socks. I hated them. That's why mom will buy them for my daughter and be like, your mom loved these when she was little. And I'm like, what? Like, like what, what, what are you remembering? Because you also probably think I love that mullet you made me have. <laughs> you didn't love that either. I don't know. I don't know what it was with like, Parents in like the, uh, you know, it was born in 79. So my youngest years were like in the 80s. You know, I turned 10 in 89. So like my pre-middle school years, like, why? 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 There was something about the 80s where it was just like, yes, I'm going to like dress my kid up as ugly as I can possibly get away with and just be like, there you go. You got a mullet. You got some big old banana curls. Uh, I'm going to put a bonnet on you and you're going to wear um, a lacy dress and like, no, 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 no. I, oh God, no. If I find two pictures, I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. This is cute though, right? Sprinkle on the sequins purple. You get two of them uh, in your pack of hair clips and they're sparkly and sequins and light purple. You just throw that in an Easter basket. I only have two of these as a set of two. I have two sets of two. That's four, six, six, four. I don't know. I didn't like them. I didn't like them. I never was very 
like girly with anything when I was really little. Like I grew up mostly on my grandparents' farm. So we usually, you know, like jeans and t-shirts and we'd be out like climbing on the tractors and pretending we were driving and go out to like the cow barn and like climb up in all these different places I'm sure we weren't supposed to be and walk through the cornfields and like just so I was and then when I was older like my sister and I did not get along my oldest sister and she was very into the sh oh the glasses I think it was a couple of years ago my husband and I it was many years ago before my mom moved um, from her house that I grew up in I found a pair of my glasses in the basement of her house. <laughs> it's just like, let me try these bad boys on. They were like, bonk. They were like this big. Pastel pink. Huge. Huge. Who let me get those? Who let me try those on and was like, yes, you can get those. My mother. <laughs> my husband has pictures of him with the, the wired frame aviator glasses they were like gold but i get it though because i would go to his house his parents house before we were married and i'd see his pictures on the lawn i was like <laughs> who let you do that you were know, like you're like the chicago's bulls shirt you know and you've got this like spiky hair and like mullet and you know you get these big old glasses on you're like Grr, you know but then after you have kids, because his mom would be like, I just love that picture. And I'd be like, only a mother could love those pictures. But then when I became a mom, I'd like, look at some of the pictures of my kids. I'm like, I love that picture. And my kids are like, no, no, no. So I get it. Like, there's just something different about, you know, your kids. Because it's not just the picture of your kid. It's the memories behind the pictures of your kids. And it's like, oh, I remember that day and that season of life and there are all these memories and like it's more of that than like what you're actually seeing in the actual picture yeah i was like i was not very girly like in um opposition to my sister it's like we hated each other with a passion because she's doing her hair i'm not you know but then like you have to realize at some point that you are not just the opposite of somebody that you don't like. Like there are going to be some things that are you that overlap with someone that you don't like. And that doesn't mean that you are that person or that you're like that person, but you can't just set up your identity in opposition to somebody because you're just like, I am not like that at all. It takes a while to figure all that out. All right. So we saw this earlier in black. That I could kind of see a kitty cat in there. You see like the ears at the top and then the blue would be the nose and then a whisker. Anyways, so this is the uh, Eco Echoes. This is in the turquoise blue. I have two of these. It's got the long tassel. They have little tassel earrings. It's 4453. When I was high school, I started in 93. 93, 94 was my freshman year of high school. And so like grunge was just like coming to be a thing. And I was like, awesome. Cause I don't feel like very, you know, like girly and dolled up and stuff. And it was like, so that kind of felt really natural to me to kind of like be in that sort of click of people. And then I got to college and got like all, I don't know ultra I don't know like I guess how people get when they get to college and they they learn new things for the first time and you're like trying to figure out who you are and then I don't know and now here I am all right these are super cute these are Mesa Trek these are in like an olive green so I'm gonna have two of these they're the stone right super cute Kind of a teardrop shape, relatively, you know, like medium size. All right, but cute. They got the stone. These are 0058. There's two of those. 
Oh, I can see the time up there in the corner. Awesome. We're almost done. I have two baskets. Oh, I only have three left. I only have three items left. All right. Next item. So I have two of these. These are purple. These are number 4676. Six. I think purple. And these are rhinestone. They're kind of like a chandelier style earring. Really pretty purple. Lots of reflection. You got the little curve right there. You got the triangular shape from where it, the chain like grabs onto the earring. So let me just pull this over so you can see just the one. Okay, it's going to look like with that size. Okay. Really pretty, very elegant. There's only two of those available. It's four, six, seven, six. And we have two more. Oh, the next one's really cute. All right, gotcha, Marlene. Four, six, seven, six. Let me write them down. All right, I'm going to show the last two, and then I'm going to pull the name for the wheel. Oh, look, and I have your comments get up on there. I forgot all about that. I don't know. I'm kind of pressing all these buttons. Okay, this next one is so cute. It's really, really cute. It's way out of my comfort zone. Doesn't really jive with my style. Um, but it's one that I look at and I go, oh, that's really adorable. This is 0081. It's in the meadow of nowhere. And it is a couple different shades of purple. Adorable. It's a medium length necklace. So you've got these kind of like, this color reminds me of like the tangy taffy like the cherry tangy taffy it's like that color it's a medium length necklace and then you've got this oversized pendant at the bottom so for me like if this was like an olive green and like rusty orange and mustard yellow i'd be like oh yeah heck yeah right um or different shades of orange and yellow um i don't feel like purple is like my color. I see those videos sometimes with like putting like different colors over people and they're like, you're a cool color or like a winter season and you're like a summer season. I, I don't think purple looks great on me, um, but it's a really adorable necklace. So let me show it to you. It's more like a medium length. Maybe I just need to find the right thing. So it's just gonna hang right there. So really cute. That is 0081. All the puns. I don't even know what I said. What did I say? Oh, for the names. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. One. Is it one? One last item, and then we'll pull a name. Yeah. Chance of rainbows. Oh, these are cute. These are adorable. And then we'll pull a name. A chance of rainbows. I like what I like about these, this next uh, item here is that it's a, it's like, I think you call it like a sage green. You'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's like a sage green, um, but they're hoops and they are wrapped in like this. It's kind of like a wicker type material. It's not, it's not like a fabric. It's kind of like a, like a sort of like crepey wicker type and it's a really cute pastel green this is a really cute pastel green okay that's not the number for them the number is uh that's not the number either the number for these oh it is never mind four zero six zero a chance of rainbows green so there they are size wise kind of cute small from the front it's really skinny you see from the side you get the green, really pretty color. That's a chance for rainbows, four, zero, six, zero. And then we'll go ahead and pull a name for the wheel. Wheels, I don't know. Well, you know what I think? I'm pretty sure that these came out, um, because they have one style and come out all the different colors. So I'm pretty sure that this was released in like a multi-color where it was like a rainbow of colors. 
and then they start releasing them in um in other colors i don't know monica i don't name the jewelry all right let's see whose name gets on the wheel i hope you had fun hanging out i did all right so the name for the wheel Two of them. Mm. Blue, pink, and yellow. Mm -hmm. Nancy. Is Nancy here? I'm going to get a backup name because Nancy is only about 30 seconds. There's about 30 seconds to say I'm here. If not, if not, I got a backup. Come on, they're all stuck together. All right, I got a backup in my hand if she's not here. Give her just a couple seconds. Otherwise, oh, I don't know if she's here either. All right. Deb here. Deb K-N is Deb here. If not, we can pull another name. So Deb, if you're here, speak now or forever. Hold your peace. We got about 30 seconds for Deb. I think I saw her earlier, but then she may have fallen off. Oh, I got another name. Ba -ba -na -na. Dab, dab, dab. No. Sonia. Is Sonia here? Sonia C. Oh, I'm gonna need like a little timer. Sonia C. Are you here? Ten seconds. Five. Angie. Angie G. Everyone fell asleep. Is Angie G here? Angie. Angie G. She might be. Oh my gosh. Yay! Okay, Angie. Um, okay, Sonia has a blue, so um, any color is still available because I only have one blue taken. So tell me what color you'd like, and then I'll put your name down for it. Looks like there's, what, red, blue, yellow, dark blue, orange, purple, green, red, purple. All right, I'll have to put your name and Sonia's name on there. So have a wonderful night. And I will see you tomorrow with a wall shop. I was right in time with a wall shop and some photos. You can finish up your last minute shopping. And that's for Angie. It's a wonderful night. All right. See you later. Bye.